we're basically looking at the health of the system every single day. We're running the my data and running the UI for you guys. So we are an IT person. And is there a contract on that? No, it's not separate. It would be uh, a contract that would uh, be in the The contract will be presented to you guys uh, tomorrow. When? Tomorrow. Here. Yeah. Yeah, well, the question was, Daryl, the end. I'm just wondering, you know, we're, we're voting on contract for $360,000. Is this something our council should look at before? This isn't a budgeted item through the city. This is done through the utility departments of water and wastewater. Sure, I understand that, but still, to protect our own interests. Daryl, uh, we approve to move forward with this. So the council's working on it on the actual okay. contract right now, so it is not prepared to be actually voted on the contract itself, just to move forward on it. Okay, so that was my question. Yes, thank you. You, you changed my motion. No, no, you're good. You mean legal council? Yes, yes. not city council, legal council. Okay, okay. Oh, you're right. Okay. Any further discussion? Questions? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Those same sign. Motion passes. Thank you, Pete. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anything from the audience? Department heads. Uh, you all received this I have legislative briefing in your packet. Uh, that's what's going on. That's the latest I have. Uh, where they were at the readings and the laws. Uh, also, when we rally at the high school, Wednesday evening at 6 30. The honor of the Greensburg basketball team for the past two state championship. The city paid some awards there for the team and the coaching staff of the team. Also, uh, something that we probably need to look at, uh, Chris, is the TIF board has decided a uh, list to go by priority list.
No, we did. I got the email. It's from, yeah, I got the email from Bridge this afternoon that uh, the workman's comp liability wants to talk to us. The health commissioner didn't about that yet. But I really believe that we need to contract our consultant this time, especially with about one of the best parts we can. And now with the affordable health care plan coming into play, that's really going to need some help that we can't afford to make a mistake there. Things are kind of simple for the, the smaller employers. It's not quite as bad. But if you have 50 more employees and you stay on the insurance, it's uh, for, for example, if you have 200 employees and you make a mistake on the amount of coverage you have for the insurance, the fine would be $2,000 for each employee you have minus 30 employees. So 107 times. Yes, and what's happening there, uh, Mr. Klosterkamper, do you have any luck today? Yeah. Um, there was some reluctance and affordance requirements that we could put the basketball team on city vehicles for the parade, so we contacted the Power of the Path, you know they have the the trans that they pulled people around, I contacted them today. They're happy to donate them. Uh, I haven't heard back from Blake. Blake's kind of ramrodding it between the school and us. Um, I'll pick them up tomorrow morning out at the fairgrounds, take them up to the mechanic, let him go over them, check tires. They've been sitting all winter. Then they're going to take them out for decorations and the parade route. I think Bridge has the parade route right now. I think I've got very copy with me, but it, I can tell you the streets. We're not closing anything. We're not closing no anything. Things. They'll simply drive slowly. It's the high school out Montgomery Road to Freeland Road. They're going to cut through what we call on the Middle Road. Road, which is a private driveway past Goodwill. That way we've gone on the state highway route. Uh, down Lincoln Street to Washington. to Washington, up around the square on three sides, then down the North Street Hill, back out to the school. And we got two of the trams. They'll hold about 10 people per side. They're low. They got a seat. Uh, and we know they're probably going to, some of them are going to stand up. It has an overhead rack where they normally put a cover. We're going to leave the covers off so they can hang on if they choose to stand up, although we're not encouraging it. And uh, I think Scott's going to have, going to have fire trucks. We're prepared to have police cars, fire trucks. We can get ambulances. We can get all the emergency services involved in it. You know that that, that they want. So. Right now, we're still looking for a driver for the pickup truck. Okay. 
Ben, have you heard anything differently? I think we can. How many trans? Are we going to do both trans? Or both trans, and they can be pulled together in tandem behind the pickup truck. Okay, we definitely have one driver. Can you get any track fine? I'll work on that. Um, also, we'll be doing a proclamation night at the council meeting for Wednesday to be in Greenberg Park. So are you inviting the uh, county police department? Good. They've been very helpful throughout the basketball season. We did have uh, two policemen that did attend the game up there for the city of Greensburg, too. That was the county. We worked together. So it's an exciting time. Say again. If it wasn't for a pair of uh, set of twins, we might pull that one off. Entertain a motion to adjourn. So. Okay, you need to adjourn.